Bruce Banner was just your everyday super genius scientist. Then, he was exposed to gamma radiation, and now in anger, he becomes the lovable monstrous Green Hulk. This is his live-action evolution, animated. Bruce Banner first appears in the television series The Incredible Hulk, named David for some reason. As he searches for a cure to his Hulk affliction, he's pursued by a nosy reporter. When transformed, he appears as a tall muscular man in green paint, with an exaggerated brow and a straight-haired wig. After the series, this Hulk would appear in three TV movies. In the first, the Hulk teams up with Thor to battle some generic bad guys, and also attempts to make way for a Thor spin-off series, which never happens. The sequel features a now bearded David Banner Banner, although his beard disappears when he transforms. Together with Daredevil, they take on the crime boss Kingpin, while also trying to create space for a Daredevil spin-off series, which also never happens. In the final film, we see Banner tracking down a spy agency. As the Hulk, he attacks their plane and in the explosion falls to Earth, succumbing to his wounds. Hulk's feature film debut showcases a younger Bruce Banner able to unleash a baby-faced and overly saturated Hulk. He grows larger the angrier he becomes, ultimately reaching over 15 feet tall. He goes head-to-head -head with his element-absorbing father, but the government attempts to nuke them both, defeating his father while Bruce survives and makes his way to South America. The MCU reboot opens in South America, where a new Bruce Banner is being hunted by the government. When provoked, he unleashes a more yellowish and veiny-looking Hulk, this time scaling to around 9 feet tall. He takes out a DNA-spliced abomination and manages to hide away in Canada, where he tries to gain control of his anger and live in peace. In The Avengers, Banner somehow looks completely different, and when transformed, appears less yellowish and less veiny, with added chest hair, rounder facial features, 5 o'clock shadow, and a more slouched stance. He teams up with his fellow superheroes to save humanity from a puny god. Iron Man 3 features a sleepy Bruce Banner lending an ear to Tony Stark before coming back in full force for the Avengers Age of Ultron. The Hulk now wears stretchy purple pants and has more exaggerated facial features. As he's put under mind control, he attacks random civilians, only to be stopped by Tony Stark's Hulkbuster suit. He then helps take out super-intelligent robots and promptly flies a ship into space despite his girlfriend's pleas to stay. In Thor Ragnarok, the Hulk is now living on the junk planet of Sakaar, sporting a new haircut, an upright stance, and more human facial features. He dons shiny gladiator armor to fight Thor, then agrees to help save the Asgardians from Thor's sister and her pet wolf. They then head back to Earth on their ship. Avengers Infinity War begins with Thanos boarding their ship mid-voyage and facing the Hulk in battle. Hulk loses the fight, and for the rest of the film, Bruce Banner is no longer able to bring out his large green counterpart, opting to wear Tony Stark's Hulkbuster suit to keep up in battle. So how will the Hulk appear in the next Avengers? Maybe a mohawk and leather jacket? Or maybe She-Hulk will take his place? That is, if she hasn't been snapped away by Thanos. Thank you for liking the video, and subscribe for more animated content. Special thanks to the patrons for supporting these animations, and be sure to leave a comment with which talent animated evolution you'd like to see in the future, and let us know your favorite Hulk below!